Well, hi there, folks, and welcome to another exciting episode of Art Tips with John. I am your host, John Morris, the painter of memories, and welcome to the show that teaches you not only how to unleash your creative talent, but also how to build your own artistic business. This show is, of course, brought to you by Outreach Art. They are the best at what they do in creating art courses because they understand their students, their fears, their anxieties, and their struggles, and all their courses are tailor-made around Outreach Art. Well, and so we want to inform you guys that we've got a brand new Patreon account, so if you love the content that we're putting out there, we would love you guys to support us, and in return, you will get amazing gifts, which we'll tell you about at the end of the show. In today's show, folks, we are going to be teaching you how to, uh, how to create your very own Highland Cow. It's a brand new tutorial that's out that is available now at outreachart.org and the link is in the chat bar below or if you're watching on Facebook it's in the chat bar above and uh, of course as always we hope you enjoy the show and I'll see you at the end. The area around the Highland Cow quite dark. Okay you might come up here little light blue, perhaps a little bit of a blob there. You can switch and use fingers as well if you want. Just play around with different ideas. That, that's part of the joy of painting, is that you just never ever know what's possible until you give it a go. Okay, so just working around the outline of the cow just now. I know that rhymes. And maybe a little blue pulling up into here. Okay. And as I say, we're just working around. Now, what I would recommend is uh, think about your colour palette. Now, that means. I want you to pick specific colours, okay? So don't just go with reds, greens, blues, blacks, browns, all that kind of stuff. Really think about colours that work together. So orange and red work together. Yellow and red work together. Yellow and blue, however, don't really work that well together. But you could go, as I said, lighter blue, darker blue, red, more into um, a rose kind of colour, even purples. Purples work really, really well. Um, and build it up and develop it as you're going on. So I picked up a little bit of orange there, that didn't work too well. That's okay, we can just paint over it. Just paint right over it. Yeah, something like that. Okay. So this is a nice powerful colours that you can do so much with. Do so much with a little bit of mid I tell a little bit of flesh. A little bit of flesh tone perhaps, a little bit of flesh tone and blue always goes really nicely together. It's coming kind of a little bit of red, a little black. Do it again. And this is something that you can continue to work on even after you've painted in your Highland Cow. But we want to give the, the impression of just so many different emotions, and the colour evokes emotion. Colour is really powerful. If you know how to use it, and you know how to use it well, you will go far. Okay, so a little bit of red, a little blue. And notice now how that's turning that into a beautiful, beautiful purple colour. Lovely, lovely purple. Okay, something like that. Let's bring it up in here, let's come into a little bit of... Flesh, little rose. And let's bring that around. Let's see how that's looking. That's looking quite nice. Little light blue. Oh, I'll tell you, a little light blue and black. That will make a really gorgeous. Gorgeous combination. So I've got blue on one side of the brush and black on the other. Let's see how that looks. Let's go with a little bit of a darker blue black perhaps. Oh, that's looking nice. That's looking pretty. Purple and blue also work very well together, but again, purple and blue are quite cold colours. So you might want to think about that as well. Just be mindful of all these things. 
when you go along. Okay, we've got a nice basis down just there. That's okay for now. Clean the brush up. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we're going to come in with some dark brown and we're going to paint this section of the face dark brown, okay? Now if you haven't got brown, the, the way that you can make brown up is red, yellow ochre and sap green. If you have got brown, brilliant, okay? And we're just going to come in with a little bit of black, a little bit of brown, a little black, a little brown, and we're just putting in a few little details here. And literally just putting on around our cow's face. So we're now starting to paint the cow in downward strokes. Now the reason we're doing downward strokes is because hair, fur, you know, all that kind of stuff, it all flows down. Uh, unless unless you've got a highland cow that's gelled it up and uh, he's got hair on top of his head, which would be highly entertaining. Completely inaccurate, but very highly entertaining. Okay, so I'm gonna miss around the nose because that's gonna be one of the lightest areas. And around. Come in a little bit more paint, a little bit more black, a little brown. So again, you want to create a really nice dark brown and already you can start to see how we're developing more fur and hair. I don't know what you call the, the I suppose, the, the hair of a Highland cow. If anyone finds out, please do make sure to to email in at outreachart.org and, and, and tell me, because I, honestly, I don't know. And I've painted this painting, I don't know how many times now. Okay, so the nose, well, I'll, I'll show you clearly how to do the nose in a second, because that's got a very specific uh, technique to it. But let's see, with all the hair, just bring it down with a little black on the brush and I'm just using my large filbert brush here that's all I'm doing okay so for the nose and the snout instead of going straight down you're actually going to pull across and more of an arched shape so you can see here a little bit darker perhaps just so you can see it so up over up and over up and over and then down and around the nose There we go. So it's, it's fairly simple to do the, the nose and the, the painting itself. It's just knowing your angles a little bit more. Okay, something like that, a little bit more black. Just to darken it down a touch more. Okay, so now we're going to clean your brush off and we're going to spend the next few minutes working on the antlers. Okay, so now we need to clean your brush off and we're going to spend the next few minutes working on the horns. Okay, for this technique you can either come in with your teacup brush or your filbert brush. It's entirely up to you. I'm personally going to come in with a teacup brush and we're going to come in with a little bit of white, a little bit of brown and a little bit of black. Okay. Okay. Now the base of the antler is going to be a darker colour, obviously, because that's where there is an absence of light. Just going to pull that on in. And over. And let's do the same on the other side. With the lights that we've got on, obviously, it, it's creating a bit of a glare, so it's hard for me to see where my where my outlines are. Okay, then we're gonna add a little bit more white to that grey colour that we made and just Rub it in a little bit here. Have you ever seen a Highland cow? A few years ago when I was walking around Lot Leaven, I saw a group of Highland cows. One of the things that Highland cows like to do the most is actually stick their tongue up their nose. Now I know that sounds really, really gross. Um, and it is, don't get me wrong, but I got a fantastic photograph 
um, that I may be able to find to, to put up on here for you, um, of this, this Highland cow sticking its tongue up its nose. And it was incredible. I mean, the, the tongue was really, really long. But, uh, hey, it's a great thing to do, I suppose, if you're bored. Okay, so, the Highland cows are really, really big. Really powerful creatures. Um, and I certainly wouldn't want to be in a fight with a Highland cow, that is for sure. Okay, so we're going to pop our little horn in there. There we go. Okay, now we're going to make up a thing called Flesh Tone. Now, to do this, if you haven't got Flesh Tone already, the way that you make it is a small amount of blue, tiny amount of blue, a small amount of red, and then white. Okay, so it should make a colour that looks like, let's come behind the black screen, there we go, it should make a colour that looks like that. Okay, so it's quite bright, it's like a pinkish colour. Um, you can get it from all good art shops. And I found it to be well worth investing in because it's a really, really good thing. Okay, so the middle is going to be your lightest area, so we're just going to come in and we're working round the nose. Okay. And don't be afraid, especially if you've got a, a dark canvas um, and you went ahead and painted it black, don't be afraid to just blob that paint on there and then smooth it out. Sometimes paint can take a couple of layers to, to be... Okay, and then we're going to do some lines over here. Just down a little way, nothing too far. Okay, now I want you to add maybe a little touch of red, a little bit more red to the sides, perhaps even a little brown, depending on how it looks. I might be all right with that. Might be. For the, the shadow. But this is actually our first time ever filming a Highland cow being painted. Okay, and then down towards the base, down, around, and again, this is something that we can touch up as we go along. Okay, so I'm clean your brush off now. Then I'm going to come in with a little bit of water with your liner brush, which is that one we showed you earlier on. I'm going to put in a few little details, it's this little one here in case you could remember, and we're going to put in the mouth, so we have the mouth just coming up here, just a little bit of black, okay, something like that. There we go, put in a couple of nostrils, okay, now the nostrils are almost going to be like reverse letter C's. Another nostril over here. Sorry, I keep picking up some paint or something from somewhere. And to finish the, the shape off, just something like that. Okay, so now we've got the basis of the Highland Cow shape. I'm going to come in a little bit more black, just just to add a little bit more detail and tidy this area up. Black paint works really, really well for tidying up areas. Well, folks, I really hope you enjoyed learning how to paint the first steps of, of the Highland Cow. Really hope you loved it. The full course is now available at outreachart.org and the uh, link is either below if you're watching on YouTube or above if you're watching on Facebook. And folks, really encourage you to go begin unlocking your creative talent and learning your amazing, amazing artistic skills. We've got a lot of courses that are on there for all walks of life and all ages and abilities as well. As we said at the top of the show, we have a brand new Patreon account. So folks, we put this, we put some amazing content out there every single week for you, either a tip on how to build a successful art business or how to uh, unleash your creative talent and teaching you step-by-step -step how to paint, okay? Now, this is expensive to do, okay? We'll, we'll be honest first and foremost, and we would love you guys as supporters of our YouTube channel, as supporters of our Facebook, if you would, and we would love you guys to consider supporting us monthly so we can continue to put out more amazing content 
content like this. So, you've got different options that are available at Patreon, and again, the link is in the chat box below if you are looking on YouTube, and in the uh, comment section above if you are looking on Facebook. Well, folks, we're out of time. I really hope you do consider supporting us and sponsoring us at Patreon. We would love that. We would absolutely love to, um, you know, to, to work together on this, because this is an amazing thing. We're working on out through the ages at the moment and Art Tips with John and how to build a successful art business and so much more and we would love you guys um, to be a part of that as well. Until next time I have been your host John Morris, this has been Art Tips with John, the show that teaches you how to unleash your creative talent and also how to unlock and build your own successful art business and of course it's brought to you by our friends at Outreach Art. They're the best at what they do in the art courses because they understand their students, their fears, their anxieties and their stresses of starting to paint and their courses, their art courses are phenomenal, I know, I teach them, um, <laughs> their art courses are phenomenal because they walk you through step by step how to paint so you're not feeling overwhelmed and if you ever do feel overwhelmed you've always got customer support and technical support as well every single step of the way. Until next time guys, thanks so much for watching, take care, God bless, I will see you soon, don't forget as well just before you head, hit that subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube and share, tell a friend, who knows, their success may depend on you. Have a great week guys, take care.